Jedi Knights and Sith Lords, and welcome to Star Wars Artifacts. My name is Dominic, aka Lord Doom, and today we'll be reviewing an artisanal range trooper helmet as seen in Solo, a Star Wars story. This range trooper helmet was built by Anna Rivard, a maker that lives not very far from me. He designed a 3D model and used a 3D printer to make the parts. He then glued them all together and began the long sanding process. When it was done, he applied the paint and weathered it to give the helmet a realistic look. According to him, the helmet is worth 335 US dollars or 450 Canadian dollars. Enough talking, let's start the review. The Range Troopers are without a doubt one of the lesser known units in the Star Wars universe. All that we know about them is that they were some of the toughest in the Imperial military and viewed other forces as softer amateurs. They were based on frontier planets that they carefully surveyed since they could be quickly drawn to a rebel cause. Before we analyze the helmet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button to help me continue my work. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are available in the description below. Obviously, there are no bucks with pretty images since the helmet is not under official license. So, we will focus our attention on the helmet right away. The paint application is extremely well done and the weathering marks make us believe that its owner went through many battles. Range Trooper helmets share similarities with both tank drivers and shore troopers. As opposite to the delicate part found on regular Stormtrooper helmets, it features larger and tougher components. On the jawline, we see not very detailed large portions. We can also see a grill that covers the nose and goes all the way down to the mount. On each side of the mount, we have a grill somewhat equivalent to the air intake filters found on regular Stormtrooper helmets. The visor is made of one single piece. On the reference images that I found, it seems to have an orange tint, but on the helmet we are reviewing today, we see that the maker opted for a red tinted transparent plastic visor. On the forehead, there is a rectangular plate that helps define the look of the helmet. Both left and right sides are identical and show very few details. At the air level, we have a little slot, and it is near that place that most of the helmet parts seem to connect with each other. The back of the helmet is sporting four black bars on each side. Other than that, there is not much to talk about. According to the movie's visual dictionary, the Range Trooper helmets are made with more resistant parts which are easier to repair by hand. The interior of the helmet does not feature any kind of finish, which leads us to think that its purpose is more for display than to be worn. Obviously, the helmet does not have any electronics. Overall, this Range Trooper helmet could be interesting if your main goal is to use it as a display piece. The weathering marks and the scratches give it a pretty realistic look. I would like to thank my friend Eric Swart, who also co-hosts the Star Wars Artifact Show with me, for loaning me this piece for review purposes. Give me your opinion on this element. Do you like the maker's work? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like my content, feel free to share it on your social media. I'll see you next week for another review, and until then, may the Force be with you, always. Remember, the Force will be with you, always.